Good morning. I hope you guys enjoyed that video last night. My my exclusive in interview with Seth Rich. Oh, it's fucking so good, right? I told you. I told you he was alive. He's alive. He's living out his 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 life in Israel, safe and sound. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little video here. Uh, not a hit piece, but I want to talk about one particular person who made a response and um, I'm just going to read it and then you can make a decision. I don't know. This is uh, the person is a rebel, rebel ex apologist, rebel ex apologist. And it's not a hit piece. It's just, a, it's just something to talk about. I don't even know what the fuck you think you were accomplishing here. Can I or anyone else that's craving for sanity and truth have just one damn so-called independent journalist to depend on? To not say or do anything that can fuck up our minds and emotions or to pass bullshit as truth? Question marks. I have had much respect for you. After this, you're on my shit list. How does that make you feel? Feel proud? I don't care who the hell you are. I don't take it kindly to this shit. Especially when you use the tragic death of a hero to do this kind of shit. Needed, needed more subscribers, attention, or money? Why did you do this? You should feel ashamed of yourself. If you can. Thanks for turning out to be just like the others. I was counting on you to be above them and do your absolute best that I know you have been. I'm just so disappointed in you right now. <laughs> uh, that's fucking awesome, right? That's a fucking great response, man. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. So let's break this down, man. First of all, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not your savior. Right. The, the point, the point. First of all, the story of Seth Rich, and the, the content of what's in that in my rant. Right, I'm playing both sides of the coin. That's done in one take. It's just stream of mind. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it in one take. Right, and, and, um, it's it, it in in that. In that you reveal, it reveals, did he, did he, is he alive? Is he dead? Did they escape? Is he in Israel? But the point is that we already know that, that even if that story that I just told you is exactly true, it wouldn't make any difference because of the state of the government, because of the FBI, they would never, they would never, there would be no consequences to any of this stuff. That's the overall point. But the bigger point is in what Rebel X is saying here. Rebel X apologist right. is that this is the um, this person is 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 looking for a savior right they're looking they come online right and they, they've been they've been so this is this is the abused this is someone like the uh, like the abused sibling right she comes online she's looking for she's looking for answers right but you know, and, and everybody's lying to her, right? You know, she goes on, you know, she, I, and I, I'm going to name names, George Webb, Jason Goodman. I come from that camp a little bit, right? These guys were, both of those guys censor their, their boards, right? Understand that, that the, the, what you're getting over there is you're getting a brand of, of censored bullshit, right? George always says, oh, you got to go out into the community and then, and, you know, and talk to people, get out of your mother's basement. But meanwhile, George Webb is actually censoring his own basement, right? If you put a comment on George Webb's site that he doesn't like under one of his videos that he doesn't like, one of his little, one of his little handlers will delete it, right? You'll, you'll think it's there, then they shadow ban you. Or you go into his super chat and the same thing. They, 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 and, and Jason is the same thing. They're all, these guys are, so they're, they're preaching one thing, right, about this, um, how, how, how you're supposed to be for the people and speak out on behalf of the people. But meanwhile, they're censoring the people. So that, that's not what's going on here. Because I believe in, 
I believe in you. Don't believe in me. Don't believe that I'm, I'm, I've never said that I'm some sort of savior or I'm going to save the day. And you're sitting in your fucking cubicle, I bet, right? This is you. This is you, Rebel X. You probably go home. You probably work a stupid job that you don't like or, uh, you know, you're, 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 you have, you know, friends that you don't fucking trust, right? You live a shitty life, right? And you, you're wanting, you're looking, you're looking to change that shitty life because you know it's shitty. It's 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 evident in your words, right? And you're looking to you're looking to 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 own someone else to get you to fix their problem, right? You're trying to get me to fix your problem, right? You're coming online and you got some jerk off with with a fucking witch. Nobody talked about my witch, by the way. How come nobody said anything about my witch? Love that witch. Right? And you're looking for a savior. You know, John Lennon said it in the Beatles. They always asked him that. They always asked, and Dylan too. They always asked. I'll, I'll say I remember Dylan very specifically in a black and white video. He he. They asked him. They said, "Don't aren't you don't you feel a responsibility to the people? I mean, you're people look to you for 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 uh, for guidance." And and he was like, "Look, I'm a song and dance guy. I don't know what the hell you're talking about." <laughs> There's there's wisdom there's wisdom in this right and this is you know do you need subscribers attention money I don't want subscribers that want to that want to put me up on a pedestal right in that Seth Rich video instead of subscribers going up they went down fucking great I don't care because I'm not interested in I'm not interested in crybabies and people with no sense of humor and people that take themselves so seriously. People that come here and, and eat for nothing and then and expect to, you know, they, they expect a gourmet meal for free. I, I don't give a shit. I, I'm, not, I'm not interested in your patri patronage, right? I, I am interested in your truth. Right? And you see how the truth, how, how powerful the truth is? You revealed yourself as, a, as like a bully mother kind of disciplining the child you will do as you're told this is your job this is your position this is your your you, you we are depending on you to to do and i say fuck you to that i don't i don't have any i'm after <clears throat> i am after a genuine truth and if i have to joke and i you know and 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 uh take a side route into the truth that i will do that but I mean, anybody who thinks that 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 was actually the you know the voice of Seth Rich is an idiot. Right? It's a joke. Right? That's all it is. It's a joke, and it has all this, all the all the I pushed all the buttons with the Hasidic Jew. Maybe he's got the curls and he's running around Israel, right? Because people think that that's what's going on. Right? That's what they think, right? I didn't make that up. Someone said it that they always oh, he's he's living his life as a Jew in Israel, hiding. Craving for sanity and truth. You're craving for sanity and truth. So anyway, I'll put that up. And um, thank you very much for uh, for your share. And uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, I hope you keep doing what you're doing. Peace out.